activity, we're going to see if velocity adds up in the same way that position, that, uh, position adds up. So you're going to need to make two right angles with tape on corners, then pick a pattern. So I went one, two, three blocks over and one, two up, and I put a piece of tape connecting to that. So my slope of this, if, I'm, if this is my y-axis, is up two over three, up two over three. I just soon save some tape and not do tape all the way over, then I follow my pattern, and I did the same slope here. So this makes a straight line. So I'm going to have my x distance will be from here to here. I can use cracks. You, we obviously can't all do this in the room. Some of us will need to go out in the hallway. It doesn't have to be a square. Okay? You can do any x and y you want. My y distance is here, and my straight, my y position change is there. My straight line position change is right along this line. <coughs> Then we're going to take our air disc, and I found, you do it however you want, I find it works pretty good to take your yardstick and give it a push. It helps you get it straight. You may have to try it two or three times before you get a disc to go straight down the tape. You want to be as accurate as you can. You want to let go of it before We'll make sure your tape doesn't catch. You want to let go of it before you get to the tape. So I'm going to let go of it before I get to the tape. Try to get it going straight down the tape. That was pretty good. Try it two or three times. Take your best one. We'll figure in what our error that uh, we'll see how much difference that little bit of uh, error would make in our calculations. And again, we'll find check to see if the Pythagorean theorem holds. We'll check to see. If the trig function's home, and you'll have details on how you're going to do that in your lab, uh, in your lab instructions. Also, you'll need to measure this angle. Obviously, we can't do the trig functions without that angle. Good luck.